Bring it on, bring it on. You, you, bring it you, on. You, oh. life know the sweet though. Hey, if some people know the hate. This film is more like a cut. It's like something I have to do. I, I said I went to a lot of countries. I went to Sierra Leone. I went to Liberia. I went. To, you know, it's not only a Nigerian thing. It's something that affects over two million women in the world. So, including Africa and in, also in Asia. When I read the script dry, uh, and I was confronted by the script with this issue, uh, first I was in disbelief. So I had to do some little research, and uh, and I found out that. This is going on in uh, Nigeria and, and other countries, uh, the child bride situation. I also want to thank God for the persistent spirit of the producer slash director. Uh, she had to really like compel me to at least read the script and read it well. When I send the script to her, I'm like, Mama Liz, you know, it's not every time you get a good script. So this one, read it. You're, he said, no, I don't want to act. I don't want to be in movies anymore, blah, blah, blah. But when she read the script, I'm like, no, this is different. You're contributing. You're lending your voice to a cause, you know. So hopefully this movie will make an impact and you'll be happy that you did. And she read the script, she loved it. And she said, why not? And she did. Ma, I don't want to marry now. Ali, Ma, you are too young to understand. You are young and this is the right time. It's not good to marry young. And even if you marry young and you have friends to lie, you should not be rejected by him. You should not be rejected because it's not your fault. So I'm coming to the comu um, community to at least stop rejecting people who have friends to lie. And they should stop, they should stop um, young marriage, yes. And they should stop rejecting people who are first to learn the community. I don't have any fears. Let her know that the assembly is interested in this case. See, uh, where's the pen? Doctor is on your head. Oh, oh sorry. See, it's a very touching movie, a very beautiful, interesting yeah. storyline. I read the script through and believe me, I was really caught up with the whole thing. I, I had to be a part of it, no matter how. I played the role of Hajia. Hajia is Sani's mother. The role Hajia played is, is the role of a woman who perhaps is uh, caught in the entrenched tradition of her people and basically doesn't even know that what she believes in is wrong. I think that the interesting part of Hajia's uh, character is the fact that there are people who still live, you know, today, believing in things that they have had, you know, like all, all their years. And so she does not see when she's being mean or that this tradition is wrong, even though she's a woman herself. But because they've been beat into, um, they've been socialized into that culture, she doesn't believe that it is wrong, you know, that a young girl should get married at, you know, what, you know that um, young age, especially when she's not even ready, you know, for the things that come with a marriage, like giving birth and, and stuff like that. People like, why Wales? I'm like, why not Wales? You know, it's different, you know, which is, filmmaking is about discovering different places and different culture. And I'm happy that we shot in Wales and we're having an amazing town. And the university has been wonderful with us, with all the support that it gave us. Dr. Zara, yeah. a woman in labor was just rushed into the emergency room. Oh, really? How long has she been there? Oh, doctor, I can't take it anymore! Huh? <laughs> so we've shot in Nigeria, we shot in Ogoja, we shot in Abakaliki, we shot in Abuja, uh, we went to Lagos, you know, the crew, the, the best crew ever. The main thing is, not only you wanting to do it, but you have to find people 
who understand the vision, who are willing to work with you to achieve that vision. And that's what I did also, to make sure that I found people that this is the vision for this thing and they could all run along with me with the vision. There was this particular scene that um, when Sunny was supposed to chase Halima out of the house, we know it started like dry, the weather, there was no rain. And all of a sudden, in the middle of the scene, this heavy rain bro broke out. And all of us run out. Well, and this fall of the moment, I'm like, no, this is the moment. You know, God gave us rain because he wanted this thing to be really dramatic. And I know, let's go back, let's go shoot it. And, you know, we shot on that rain and it was amazing. You know, the girl, Halima was such a sweetheart. She, I call her Halima, her name is Baida. <laughs> Why should I be the only one to suffer? What did I do wrong? <laughs> I waited for you. Bought gifts for your families. Married you the right way. What was my crime? Right. It's a very good cause. And I think it even goes beyond the movie because it's going to create a lot of awareness. Kudos to the producer. I thoroughly enjoyed working with her. I mean, I am, it is remarkable how down to earth Stephanie is. I did not see, I mean, at any point, you would expect a little bit of an ego or perhaps a little bit of an attitude. It didn't come. It didn't come. She's a team player. She looks after everybody that's on her team. You know, you don't feel like she is above you despite, you know, her background. She's approachable. The production, the film, dry. It's mind-blowing. I mean, I look at the equipments, you know, I look at the, the, the work, the work crew, you know, the cast and all that. It's the, the crew. It's, um, it's well put together. They're hard workers. I mean, they worked so hard. And the good thing is when you're working with people who believe in you and believe in the project. So they believe in the project. Even when we came to Wales because the location changed and like, no, we're coming to Wales. We need to complete this stuff. And you can see the dedication. And I'm, I, I, like I prayed, I said, everybody who have been a part of this project, their life will never remain the same. This script will really, really change a lot of things. The thinking of people, how the society are supposed to relate to people with uh, this fistula problem, and how they need their support, and how they sh should be open to people that are willing to help them. In 36, take one. shows that she attended antenatal care here, but when she's about to give birth, she's locked up with some quacks. And then when she's about to die, they remember there's a freaking clinic around the corner. What is wrong with all these people? Come on, come, come here, come here, come, come back. Dr. Sarah, come back. No, 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 let's go, let's go. Not now. Get into the car. You can't just do that. You know, it's a powerful movie. It has a powerful message. And I think people all over the world need to hear this message. It's very important. So in other words, you got to go see the movie dry. You're going to love it from beginning to the end. There's no dull moment, I'm telling you. And I just want everybody to come and, and watch this movie and support us and make sure you go out there and watch it dry. Ma, I don't want to marry now. Halima, you are too young to understand. You are young, and this is the right time. I paid a lot of money to have you as my wife. I am so honored to be receiving this award. Why do you come here every Thursday? I guess I'm supposed to be talking to a shrink. Is there something you need to talk to me about? It's almost as if she's trying to make up for something. Don't you want to be part of the team? I'm already part of the team. Please stop. <laughs> And thanks for coming to help in our small hospital. Push! I wish I could die. We can't save every life. We can't keep losing this women. Ah, oh, I can't take it anymore. Mom, mom, your medical doctor, your duty is to save lives. <laughs> but I did not sign a vow of poverty. Clean her up before the whole house starts smelling. Our whole yes. household is infected with disease when we get out. Equipment. A lot of people are dying every day here in this hospital. What issues could be more pressing than this lunatic doctor who will do anything to paint this country back? Go back to your father. Go and let your family share in this embarrassment. Think about it. Go, go. They can't just do that. Why are they standing on the ground? Halima, Halima, no. After 
after you have killed your parents, now you want to destroy my home. Are you sick? I told you, Dr. Zara, these people can be crazy. Bring it on, bring it on. You, you, bring it you, on. You, oh. life you're the sweet though. Hey, if some people know they hate.